hey welcome this is civil engineering materials and techniques so i'm gonna show you a technique of how you can use stud pro to analyze this um a given structure this is the structure that is uh, saved on as as, as stud pro so that uh, you can look at it and also analyze it because it's already analyzed as, as you can see has got some pin uh, foundation and um, uh, it, it, it contains elements like beams and columns um, whom you can uh, like, like you can uh, see the, 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 the properties of a beam a beam of um, 200 by uh, you can see you can look at the uh, properties of uh, the cross section is 200 by 200 beam uh, that is crossing uh, is traversing through the structure so it's a single story structure um, which 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 has got uh, uh, columns of the properties that you can see properties all 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 the sizes of the columns and beams are, are the same it's a, a simple typical structure as you can see so uh, we are going to analyze this structure um, or, 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 or rather detail it because it's already analyzed you can see uh, it's already analyzed it's it, it has got um, when you look at the loading it's loads uh, load cases can be pronounced as you can see uh, you see the loading is already there okay you can see the live loads dead loads they're all available and um, this uh, even the load combination is is, is can, can be seen that uh, uh, okay it's loaded and that, that's how you, you can see that, that when you're provided with a structure of this sort then you need to detail it and do uh, with the sizes that has been given and uh, the analysis so from the analysis now you can go to the details and you know using the stud pro rcdc you can detail all these uh, elements beams and columns and identify whether they are uh, sufficient uh, they, 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 they can they can uh, carry the load or not so um so straight away we can uh, we can uh, close this and uh, yes this is structure now as you can see um, when you look at it uh, from the sideways you can see it's that way um, okay so we can just close this structure and uh, open our RCDC whereby we shall do our detailing from there um, yes, so first of all we need to enter the details of uh, the project for example um, let me let me like this was a single uh, this, uh, this, uh, this was a room uh, it, it, it was like a room let me say um, frame frame one yes okay so from one then the client let's say um mtm so that's that's my initials and engineer can say eng tm that's um can fill up uh, the, the design that we are do using um, is uh, BS8110 1997 that is the, the one that has been provided for the reinforced concrete structures um, right now that's the only one that we can see uh, we can say euro code or whatever these are euro codes but uh, okay we can see with that we can go with the default which is uh, BS8110 and um, you know we can choose now the file after that after you've captured all the details of the project now you can you 
can uh, now choose the file this is uh, rcdc so uh, you choose the file our file was on the desktop it's named frame analysis one so this is one you open so as you open you see it tells you uh, it's, it's it's unable to read the uh, analysis data so what uh, you have to do now you have to go back and um, and check whether there is analysis data or not so you can also uh, choose another one like this one start pro uh, you see it can pick the analysis data no there is no analysis data now you have to go back uh, here we can go back here um, and uh, open this project in start pro and uh, and perform analysis perform analysis now this this is structure save it then uh, run the analysis as you can see now there is only one node zero warning now you can proceed as the, the output you can view the output um, but here we only interested in, in uh, design you can see now the output of the design analysis so it's already analyzed as you can see here now as you can see commands so the only warning is that there are multiple uh, uh, the, the warnings are the multiple what commands so these are the only warnings which shows that our analysis is correct so we can now uh, now close this one now uh, come open this uh, start then we open it uh, let's close it you know you cannot uh, import it to rcdc uh, if it's still open so you can still import you can import it as you can see it's now it, 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 it's as a uh, now imported uh, there is no any warning or pop-up so we can proceed so the, uh, the foundation will be footing so we we are not doing any pile cap because of the bearing capacity of the, the foundation so it will depend with uh, the bearing capacity um, so we can do the, uh, the footing so here you now proceed we can proceed Processing the data and opening the drawing. So you can see now the columns have been named already. This is the dimension of the structure has been already uh, shown. Now it's 35 by 5 meters. So this is the, 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 the sizes of uh, the building. These are columns, so you can see the columns and show the pad, you know, the pad footing, you know, there is columns, 1 to 11. So this is now um, the model. Uh, this, 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 this is like uh, the layout uh, of the structure in our RCDC. So the next uh, uh, process.